Okay. Yeah, so um, I'm Aaron. I went to High Tower two years ago, graduated, you know. Saw a hurricane to the day I died. Um, I started this brand called Development Confidence, Build a Community. It's just for me to be represented by something when I go out and uh, speak to youth and um, Hello. Youth and middle schoolers and high schoolers. Um, so uh, that, that, that's my whole purpose for coming to, to speak to you all today. And um, that's just a little bit about me. Oh, no. Okay, so get started. Today I'm going to talk about living in the now of your life. Um, when I was in middle school, eighth grade, I went to Quail Valley. Anybody went to Quail Valley? Yes, see, that's what I'm talking about, right? Yes, okay. <laughs> so I went to Quail Valley. I was in eighth grade. And throughout my eighth grade year, all I was thinking, I'm ready to go to high school. I want to go to high school. I want to go to high school. So I made it high school. In ninth grade, I was kind of warming up to, you know, high school life, being at a school where my mom taught it too, and all of that. Um, so I kind of enjoyed, you know, I enjoyed all four of my years, but I was enjoying it. And then, I got 10th and 11th grade year, and all I wanted to do was be a senior. Like, I was just like, oh, I want to be a senior, because I had older friends. So, like, my friends were seniors, and I was just like, oh, I want to be a senior. Okay, I get it. I go to school. I was like, yeah. And now I get so senior seniors. Comes. And all I want to do is graduate. <clears throat> like, I'm never satisfied. I just wanted to graduate. All right, I'm a senior now. I want to graduate. And it wasn't until I kind of really started developing myself and growing that I realized that I kind of rushed all my years and I didn't really take the time to embrace it and, and enjoy what, what was in store for me at that point in time. So I would just want to rush it because I knew something was better or, or, or I knew I didn't want to be where I was at the time. So I, I would just continue to like push myself. I don't want to do this. I want to do that. I want to do. I never want to be where I was supposed to be. You know, and that's that's kind of what I want to talk to y'all today about. Um, is that right now has the biggest difference? Makes the biggest difference in your life. Period. Like today is gonna make a big difference in y'all's life because it's often told to us that you're supposed to live for tomorrow. But the only way to get to tomorrow, you have to go through today. And that kind of just keep playing in my head because the decisions I make today are going to ultimately determine my future. But it all starts with right now. So I just have a question for anybody. You can raise your hand anything. But does anybody have any future goals or what they want to be or become? Uh, see your hands. Oh, yes. You want to get your MBA? Okay. Anybody else? Okay. Oh, the doctor's on your own dentistry? Yes, ma'am. Veterinarian. Okay. Like, large animals, small animals? Woo! I'm about to hire you because my horses are sick right now. Yes. Uh, radiologist. Radiologist? Didn't call my hand. Oh. Another? Cosmetic surgery. Cosmetic surgery. Like, slip nose. Here, okay. <laughs> so um, I want to be a wildlife veterinarian. Wow. Okay. Any other future goals? You know, plan? Yes. I want to be an actress and entrepreneur. Actress and entrepreneur. Yes. Pediatric. 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 Petroleum geologist. Geologist. Oh, petroleum geologist. I want to go to college and be a midwife. You want to go to college and be a midwife? Mm -hmm. Anyone else? I want to get a entertainment management degree, but then go to school for entertainment law. Okay. Yes. I just want to be a music producer. Okay. Or own restaurant. Okay. Did you have music? Oh yeah, I, I just want to go to college, make it through, graduate, and become a nurse. Okay. Yes! We here! Nursing! That's what I'm going to PB for. But, um, what are you doing today? Because it starts today. With all of y'all plans for the future, what are you doing today? 
program called GeoForce. It's like a geology program sponsored by the UT Austin and just takes you around the United States and mm -hmm. just sees geological features and stuff. I keep thinking you saying jelly. <laughs> 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 yeah, okay. Actor, entrepreneur. You can't just get up and be in a movie. Yeah. So what you doing? I mean, I got theater and then I'm doing outside dance. Um, okay. I'm but, uh, in a tank right now. Okay, she 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 doing big things. <laughs> it, what are you doing like today? I am working in studios and selling music pieces that I create. Okay, you doing anything today? To go to college and, and be a midwife, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Managing my time better. Managing your time better. And that's 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 a good point. She didn't say she was, you know, I, I give y'all props. Like she didn't say she was doing anything towards her, but she's doing things to better herself. You know what I'm saying? So managing time better is gonna be very important come college years, it's going to be very, very important. And I'm glad that you said that because it's not doing just basically stuff that's pertaining directly to your career, like like these two young ladies, but it's doing things that will make you a better person overall and time management will. Are you doing something? I'm just looking into school, visiting colleges. And that's good. So <clears throat> it's funny how... You know, you ask some people what they want to be, they want to be, you know, the next LeBron or the next B, Queen B. Ain't no next Queen B, okay? It's only one. <laughs> be the next you. I promise you, that'll go further than Queen B. Um, be, be the next you. But it all starts with today. And understand that everything, people are going to be chasing money. Everybody's chasing the dollar. But I challenge you to chase something that's just a little bit more chase important than that little dollar. part that happens right after you go to sleep and right before you wake up. And that's called a dream. Because that's way more valuable. Way more valuable than that dollar. I mean, the dollar going to be here. They print, they used to be green, now they blue or whatever. The $100 bill? Oh, y'all ain't seen them. My bad. <laughs> but no, they print they print money every day. They print so much money every day they throw us away. Burning it, you know. So um chase your dreams. You never want to live a life with regrets that you never you never chased your dreams. So make sure you're chasing your dreams every day. So overall, what I want to uh leave y'all with is live now. Because yesterday is gone and tomorrow is not promised. So whatever you do today, make it count. Any questions? 